So I purchased a $150 laptop on Amazon. I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop with this laptop. Now this definitely does have the capabilities of using Photoshop. It's not gonna have great, great performance, but if maybe you're a student on a super budget, this might be the right pick for you. Now, as I go ahead and click the search bar, you can see that it loads kind of slow. So it is a slower laptop. I'm gonna be searching Photoshop in the finder. As you can see, it's, it's taking some time to load. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open Photoshop and because the storage drive on this laptop is only 64 gigabytes, the RAM is four gigabytes and the processor is a Celeron processor. That's like a three to four to five year old processor. It's a little slow and it's gonna take a little finagling to make this work. Now, as we're waiting for Photoshop to open, one thing I really like about this laptop is the build quality. And I filmed a full video review on this laptop if you're curious about the build quality, usability, the speakers, the webcam, all that. But in this video, I'm just showing you how to use Photoshop on this super budget friendly laptop. You can go ahead or click or tap the screen at the end of this video if you wanna watch my full review on the Asus E410. Now, as you can see, because the 64 gig drive on this laptop is so full, you're unable to even run Photoshop because it needs a certain amount of space to run. So that's where you wanna grab an external hard drive, plug it in, and then as you're launching Premiere Pro, hold Control Alt. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so go ahead and plug the hard drive in, click, Premiere Pro to open it up and then click and hold Control Alt. All right, this sends us to the scratch disk settings menu where we can go ahead and select our two terabyte external hard drive, which will now allow us to run Photoshop on this computer. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of this laptop at the moment you're watching the video, you can head down in the description below and click that link. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a tiny commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And don't forget, we're actually giving away three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros once we hit 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the full announcement video on how to enter into the giveaway once we pass 100,000 subscribers. Now this computer takes quite a long time to load Photoshop, but it does work nonetheless with the hack um, of using the external hard drive. So let's see if we can get a file open here. All right, now that we have Photoshop all loaded up, let's grab the brush tool. And you can see it's pretty responsive. It's not very laggy as we start working on the project a little bit. As you can see, as I start to make more lines, they might get delayed. They won't immediately get on the screen. But if you're just doing some light Photoshop work or some light photo editing, this could be a laptop for your choice. However, if you're any sort of serious creator, I was doing a lot of work using a lot of layers, even editing raw photos. I think you will be disappointed with this laptop, but if it's something like, hey, I just got to pop into Photoshop every now and then for my business. Okay, here we go. See, I just clicked and then nothing popped up. Watch how all this stuff is going to pop up at once. Because it's, well, it's not, it's, it's falling behind at the moment. So you'll see here, once it finally populates, it's going to be like, kuh, 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 kuh. there it goes. So you can see it has a lot of delay and this is just one layer in Photoshop with a brush tool. So I would not recommend this as my go-to daily driver for intense Photoshop work, but it will work for on the day-to-day -day little touches and edits here and there. Let me know what you think. If you would ever consider getting a $150 laptop for your Photoshop use, I hope you enjoyed this hack. Definitely subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out when we pass 100,000 subscribers. I'll see you here in the next one.